I look at us as the ones who do the diagnosis, who counsel the families to start with about what their child has and how we're going to manage that. And once a surgeon is involved and, and they do their really critically important part, they're handed back to us as their primary cardiology caretakers. And we work in concert with their pediatricians, of course, to really promote their care for the rest of their life and for whenever they would need re-interventions or something like that. We can now image the heart in ways that we would never have thought possible. Formerly, a lot of the imaging was invasive, in other words, under general anesthetic. We can now get this information non-invasively uh, in a conscious child just lying on a bed watching a video. And so this is an area that's moving forward at a very rapid rate. We have imagers in the world of echo reading, cardiac MRI, uh, transesophageal echo, so it's a big team. We have at least four readers a day in our main echo lab, actually. We have overall 10 rooms just here at the main campus that are all going at one time, and we have this very nice setup in our mission control area. Each screen has up to six echo fields on it so we can keep an eye on six different rooms at a time. One of the things about being involved in a center that has such large numbers and an academic center where there's a lot of people interested in improving the outcome of children with congenital heart disease or other conditions such as cancers, we have a fair number of active research programs going on. The things that I'm really excited about are the projects looking at outcomes for children who have had cancer and have received agents that can affect how the heart muscle functions. And so some of our projects are looking at how can we predict who are those children going to be, who are the ones who need to have their cancer treatment altered, and what can we do about it and try and improve their outcome. There are also several multi-institutional studies that we're actively starting or involved in, including with a severe tricuspid valve problem called Epstein's anomaly, another one with tetralogy of Fallot. One of the things that is a very integral part of what we do as fetal cardiac imagers is participate in fetal interventions or preparing for fetal interventions or assessing whether a fetus does need an intervention. So we act as the cardiac monitoring team for the procedures such as tumor resection or fetal lung mass resection. Outcomes both for fetuses and for children and adults with congenital heart disease is a really growing program because now that we are so much better at getting children to survive congenital heart disease surgery, for example, it is just so apparent that what is affecting their quality of life is so important. So we're trying to figure out what can we do to affect their neurodevelopmental outcomes in a positive way. What can we do to get them to be just more healthy, happy children running around and participating in as many activities as they can and, and doing as well in the classroom as they can.